hi everyone in today's class i'll explain the isometric projection of a combination of solid consisting of a cone of base diameter 70 which is placed on a hemisphere of diameter 70 the curved surface of the hemisphere is resting on the ground now to start with the construction let us draw the cone first so cone is having a base diameter of 70 mm so let us construct a isometric view of a enclosed base the a circle of 70 mm diameter when you enclose you have to draw the isometric view of the enclosed square so the diameter is 70 so you have to construct a square base of side 70 mm so 70 you can draw at an angle of 30 degree so before that I'll change the line type to normal line 70 mm at an angle of 30 degree then 70 at an angle of 150 degree and again 70 at an angle of 210 degree so use the tab key to change the focus between length and angle okay so after typing the length you can use the tab key to change the focus now close this side by picking the end point now you have to draw base ellipse by drawing first you connect the two diagonals then connect to the midpoint here connect to the midpoint here then use the arc by center point pick this intersection then draw the arc you approach from down select the midpoint or end of this line draw the arc till it meets the midpoint select the intersection approach the this end of this line or midpoint of that this line midpoint of this line or end of this line okay then draw the arc till it meets the midpoint taking this center from the top you can approach this end of this line or midpoint draw this arc till it meets the midpoint or end of this line and again from the top point as a center arc radius is equal to this a midpoint you can select then draw this arc till it meets the midpoint or end of this line now you got the ellipse now you can take the height height of the cone is 70 mm so you take 70 mm and draw a vertical line and uh, from there you have to draw a tangent to this tangent and point on element when you get tangent and point on element you can click so that will give a perfect tangent and from here again you have to draw a tangent to this curve tangent and point on element symbol both simultaneously you should get so that gives a tangent now this is a cone of 70 mm base diameter and 70 mm height now on bottom of that you have a, a hemisphere so hemisphere also having the same 70 mm diameter so you need not construct again the ellipse of 70 mm diameter so corresponding to the top face of the hemisphere you have already have an ellipse okay this is 70 mm side so you have that uh, top face of the hemisphere here and now you have to draw only the arc part that is curved surface here so before drawing that you can scale down this to uh, 0.816 that is isometric scale you can use 0.816 so you are scaling down this now give a reference point and then so now this is scaled down now let us zoom this now you have to draw a uh, bottom arc now actually you have to draw the arc by uh, taking the true radius but because this ellipse is constructed by four center method this major axis of the ellipse will be reduced so if you draw an arc with this as center and with the radius is equal to the true radius the arc will not touch this ellipse 
so arc radius you can take this point this is midpoint of this arc midpoint of this arc from here you can draw this arc till the midpoint of that arc so this radius is not equal to true radius it is slightly less than the true radius so this is a isometric view now you have to darken the visible lines even after drawing this you can totally you can scale down that doesn't make any difference you can draw the complete figure before scaling down here i have scaled down that cone first then drawn this arc now you have to uh, make the visible part so for that you can use the split command uh, because this this part of the arc some portion is hidden at the end of this line you can split and this curve you can select at the end of this line you can split now you can use the zoom command and then now hold down the control key select all the visible parts okay this part of the arc is completely hidden front curved part of the cone is only visible so you can make this visible line this gives the isometric projection of the combination of solid so now you have a cone on the top of the hemisphere so that's all for today thank you for watching